Hello everybody, welcome back to HB Outdoors. I'm Henry and today we are out here in a small patch of woods. So today we're going to do a hammock camp. It's going to be kind of like a stealth and kind of not because my main goal isn't to be stealthy but I might have to be a little bit stealthy since I'm near a bunch of houses and there's also a road right next to me so I do have to be careful. The main goal for this video is going to be just me enjoying, try and enjoy hammock camping and the other goal of this video is going to be showing you guys um, my setup. It's actually a new setup. It's going to be, well it's actually not that new but it's going to be, it might be for future stealth um, and I'll show you the hammock setup in the video but yeah we got to get set up and also if I do talk a little bit weird I have Invisalign in. If you guys don't know what Invisalign is it's basically like invisible braces kind of like a retainer so I might talk a little bit weird in this video but yeah just to tell you guys so let's get set up there's deer like right over there right now I, yeah right there uh, right there you guys literally was about to set up yeah look at that thing there's a lot of deer out here Please do not leave your trash here. I'm gonna pick this up obviously, but you know, do us all a favor and don't leave the trash. Almost set up all of it. The only thing we have left to do is put the underquilt on here and then we should be good. So this tarp is actually the same tarp I used in the last stealth, but one side's brown, one side's green. I thought maybe green might be a little bit better for the situation, but I actually don't know. We'll have to see. I definitely didn't pick the best spot for this. As you can see, there's a lot of trees in the way, but I just staked it down without needing to use the cordage and also then this way it's a little bit more coverage and yeah so that's pretty good. Definitely didn't pick the best spot but this is only, like literally one of the best spots I could find. It's such a thick woods out here and like most of the woods literally just like these like bushes so it's really hard to find a good spot out here. All right, you guys, so we got the underquilt up. So this underquilt doesn't really fit this type of hammock. This is a double nesting hammock. And um, my other hammock that I have is actually orange, so I couldn't use it for this. The only reason we have this double nesting hammock is because we got it from an REI garage sale, which is basically like a thing REI does when um, they get like used or returned equipment and they put it up for a really good discount. So this one was a really good price, so I decided to get as you can see, the tarp is reflecting pretty bad. From that side, over there, you can see it pretty good. And actually from like the road, because there's a road right there, it's not as bad, but it's still not good. There's some kids walking by, so I gotta be kinda quiet. They're right there.
for you guys. I think they passed. But yeah, this is kind of turning into a stealth. I didn't think... I didn't think this would be a stealth. But it's kind of turning into one. Alright you guys, so it's been a little bit later now. And those people are obviously gone. I almost had to run home. Because I literally thought those people were coming in. There were a bunch of kids. Like, this is kind of turning into a stealth, as I said. And, oh man, I... I didn't want it to be a stealth, but it's, it's pretty thick out here, so I'm not too afraid. You know, I'm not too afraid if I get caught, I just don't want to, you know what I mean? But yeah, it is what it is. So we're just sitting here. I'm probably going to be making dinner soon. So I can't really make a fire out here because, as I said, I still have to be kind of stealthy. So basically, I made some fajitas. Before I went out here, I break, I basically got some frozen fajita. You know, from like the deli section in the stores. You know, cooked it. And basically, I froze it. I didn't freeze it to where I have to thaw it out all day. I basically just froze it to where um, it just needs to be thawed out for a minute. So it's going to be thawed out by the time I'm going to cook it. And basically all I have to do is heat it up again and we should be good. I basically pre-cooked chicken fajitas and all I have to do is warm them up on the uh, stove and we should be good. So I'll probably just be sitting out here until it's time. All right, you guys. So now I'm going to make dinner. I'm getting hungry. So let's get set up and we're going to cook the fajitas. So it should be pretty good. So let's get into it. Uh, this is what it's looking like. Still looks pretty good to be honest, which I'm really surprised about, but yeah, we're gonna get this cooked up and should be ready to eat. I'm just gonna throw a tortilla right on here, just like this. On the top, look at that. Let it cook real good. Fits perfectly too. This is what it's looking like now. I'm gonna let it cool because it's actually pretty hot to pick up. So it's been so actually cooked pretty fast. I think it was done thawing for sure. So that's good. I don't really have any other plate, so I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. All right, there we are. There it is. We're gonna get eating this. Should be good. I might put more on here because I still have a lot more. But yeah, we're gonna get eating this and we should be good. This was honestly not supposed to be a stealth camp, but it's feeling like one. It's actually getting pretty hard to not get caught out here. Even though people can't really see me it's still kind of difficult to uh, not get caught. I'm just gonna eat up here. And after that, I guess, I don't even know. There's not much to do out here, really. All right, you guys, so I just finished eating. And as you can see, it is getting a little bit darker now. So that's pretty good. 
I'm in the process of cleaning everything up because it's a huge mess under here. I also, I changed into pants and a long sleeve because the bugs are getting bad. And as you can see, I had bug spray, but I'm out now. And I only could use it around my neck. I thought there's more in there, but nope. So now I'm just uh, sitting out here and I'm gonna clean up. All right, good. So we cleaned everything up. I mean, if you're wondering what this cord is, it's just because I'm charging my phone. It's yeah. almost dead. I just wanted to show you this backpack. So I've had this backpack for a little bit over a year. I've took it on uh, man, two backpacking trips probably. And I actually really like this backpack. It is the Osprey Atmos AG50, which I can do a review on this backpack. If, if you guys have any suggestions on future videos that you want to see, Leave them down below and I'll take a look at them. It's much later now. I was just sitting out here, just enjoying it. And now it's getting dark. So as you can see, the sky is still kind of bright. Uh, as you can see, it's 928 right now. It's definitely cooled down a lot. It's not cold by any means. It's like probably 65, but it's been like, today has been like a lot colder than usual. So I'll see you in a little bit. It's looking pretty good. The setup is really nice. I am probably gonna go to sleep soon, but you know, I was just testing out what it felt like. And yeah, I'm gonna sleep nice tonight. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be nice sleep. Wow. Might be a little bit warm, but that's okay. It's gonna be a good sleep, hopefully. So we are going to head to bed. I'm gonna get into the hammock. So it's pretty cozy up here. We also hung the backpack so it wasn't all over the ground. So I've just been chilling out here. It's about, as you can see, 11.26. So we are going to get to bed. And of course I left this open. So there's gonna be mosquitoes in here now, but that's okay. So we gotta get in here now. All right, guys, we're now in the hammock and it's pretty comfy in here. So I'm gonna hit the hay and yeah, I'll see you in the morning. All right, you guys. So I just woke up it's about 8.15 in the morning. And so I'm gonna take everything down. All right, well, this is gonna be the end of the adventure. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.